righty tighty, lefty loosey. And turn it this way. Lefty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, so this is my cart right here. I just wanted you guys to see it firsthand. This cart is from Michaels and it's normally I think around $60, but I got it on sale for 50. So definitely watch out for it to go on sale. It was very easy to set up. I was hoping it would actually be a little bit larger, but I think I can still make it work for this year. So I will be sure to link these all for you guys if I can find them, hopefully I can, but I got these from Walmart. They were $10, so they definitely weren't the cheapest, but I really liked the way that they looked, and since this will be in my dining room the majority of the time, I really wanted a cart that was very aesthetically pleasing, so you may want one that's more colorful or one that fits your space. I just wanted one super neutral, so this cart's kind of for me. <laughs> it's my storage for homeschooling, so I just wanted it to be really clean to look at. One thing I want to show you guys that I got absolutely love the way these look. So this is the Swing Line Sugar Paper Essentials Desktop Hole Punch and it's white. And I just love how clean it looks. Like look at that. It's so pretty and so clean. And they also had a matching stapler. <laughs> so I was really excited to find this. They were pretty reasonable. They definitely weren't like super cheap, but I figured I wanted some good products that were gonna be able to work for us for the next few years. And like I said, I really wanted some cute girly items because, well, I mean, it's not super girly, it's white, but I have three boys. And so anytime I can add like a little bit of like a girliness to something, I pretty much will. <laughs> I also found this little guy on Amazon, which is super cute. Gave me like the worst roll of tape. But other than that, it's like a super cute little tape dispenser. Okay, so this is another item that I got. I'm excited about this one. So it is a battery operated pencil stripe printer. So that way I didn't have to worry about cables being back there and I could truly, truly make this cart portable. So this is what this little guy looks like. So super cute for batteries. So I've pretty much just finished the cart and I thought I would kind of show you guys around. First, I wanted to note this thing is on wheels, which is amazing. So I can actually turn it around if I want to. I may have to like tweak it a little bit. So I like the back of it, if that makes sense. I at least wanted to show you guys kind of where I'm at with all of this. So I love this little pencil holder that I was able to find. Someone in our neighborhood was selling it. Um, and then back here, I went ahead and put all of my like little what are they called? Like office supply things. So hole punch, stapler tape, pencil sharpener, sticky notes. And then, like I said, this may change and evolve as we go, but I have all of his math manipulatives in there. Um, like timers, flashcards, more flashcards. This is kind of a dangerous place to put it because I currently have a crawling baby. So this may, this cart may have to like go in a closet until he's a little older. And then I have a bunch of file folders here and I got most of these items, by the way, at uh, the container store. And I don't feel like they were badly priced. And my plan is to just put any sort of like printouts I have. So like math printouts or just, you know, additional printouts or maybe even like worksheets that I tear out from maybe some of the other books I can put in here or any sort of like photocopies, they'll all go in there. Over here, I just have, like I said, I'm not, 
I don't really love how this part's looking right here, so I'm just gonna need to play around with it and see how many items I actually wanna keep on the shelf and how many I wanna keep in our morning basket. But I basically put all of our co-op stuff, apart from these two books, in the section. So I kinda have like the books we're using for co-op back there. And then these are, um, it's a poem book and a children's book of virtues that we're gonna be just kind of reading through. There may be a better way to store these books. These shelves are a lot more narrow than I think I was anticipating. So they only unfortunately fell on their side. And then up here, yeah, sorry, I know I kind of like went all over, but up here I just have a couple other reading books and then this is going to be my homeschool planner and then I put our math right here and then I have handwriting. I'm going to have James do handwriting and then I'm also going to be working on my handwriting because I figured I should also have a few things that I want to work on as well. And then here's the activity book, which is massive. I did not expect it to be this big, so it did not fit down here. And then we have reading right here. 